The first, simply build the bomb around essentially a small cannon, which would fire a small chunk of uranium or plutonium into a larger, just subcritical chunk. The two combined would form a critical mass and boom, you'd have the explosion. The second was a bit more complicated. You would have just one subcritical ball in the bomb. To make it critical, you could surround it with explosives. And if you timed them perfectly, the explosives would compress that ball, pushing the nuclei closer together, in turn lowering the critical mass threshold, creating a critical mass, and boom, you'd have the explosion. Both theories would be pursued, but they'd need two different bomb designs. One, a round bulbous shape to accommodate the ball of explosives. The second, a long skinny shape to fit the cannon. Fat man and little boy.